Oh, this is from somebody else. So someone else died doing this. Oh, he's a... What the heck? He's a knight? <laughs> what is going on? Why is there a knight on the moon? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here, and this is a new game called Moon Runner. It is in early access. It is completely free early access. As far as I know, only on Steam. I just saw Obsidian Ant playing it. Go check out his channel. He does amazing space themed games as well, but he was playing it. I think it looked really, really cool. So I wanted to give it a try. It is a game set on a moon and it is really, really similar to Death Stranding. So it's like Moon Stranding. Let's jump into this and let me show you what this is about. Small moons controlled by Astral Cortex Industries produce rare energy used for interstellar travel. The monoliths installed across the surface are designed to harvest this energy. While the monoliths malfunction and standard maintenance protocols have failed, units known as moon runners are there to fix them. <laughs> I didn't read the whole thing, dang it. So your whole objective is to get to these little like monoliths. But look at how, God. and I will say this thing has like RTX amazing uh, lighting, but there's no way I can get it to run at like a decent frame rate. Like if I turn on all the RTX settings, it'll be like 10 frames a second. Scraper unit 87C5. This lunar node requires urgent maintenance. You are tasked with finding all the monoliths and reactivating them with your suit's cortex energy device. Your suit's energy also synthesizes oxygen for your survival. However, its supply is limited. Once you reactivate a monolith, it will replenish your energy. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. But yeah, let me let me show you some of these settings in here. So if you go to settings, you can go to your video. It's in early access, so there's not a lot you can change, but there is a ton you can change. Let me let me show you this. Boom, video. And so you, you have your presets. I have mine set to high because if I go to ultra, it gets a little crazy. I'm playing at 1440p full screen. But, you know, like my max frame per second is 60. As you can see, I'm hitting 60 up here pretty solidly. But that's only because I have DLSS on for quality mode. And I don't have any ray tracing. You have shadows, ambient occlusion, ray trace reflections, all of that stuff. But you're going to need like a like a dual 3090 setup. Because I have an RTX 3080 and it works. It runs. But I get like 15... 20 frames a second on this thing if i have everything if i have everything turned on and turned to ultra it will dip really really hard i mean i'm sure there's a combination i can go through and kind of like go you know turn this on medium this on high this on you know if i went through and played through all the settings i might be able to get the rtx to work the ray tracing but man holy crap dude it is insane the demands for this game are insane but yeah so you are an astronaut Oh, you fall and you use a little bit of your uh, energy. But you're basically picking up just like in Death Stranding. You pick up ladders. You can put ladders down. That way you can run over there and use it. So let's equip our ladder. So now we have a ladder. So now we can put it down. Let's see what we can do. Right here, boom. We have to climb up here. And you'll at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see I have a weight meter on the far left. My energy bar is going down. Right now we're at 59, 58, 57. So it's slowly draining as you're, you know, if you get away from these monoliths, you will drain your energy. So you have to get close to it. Now we have to activate this thing. Let's activate it. Here we go. Monolith reactivated. You are making progress already. Astral Cortex Industries thanks you for your service. Your energy supply will be refilled as long as you are next to a reactivated monolith. When you leave the monolith, your suit's energy supply will re-engage. Use your scanner to highlight nearby stranded modules. Stranded modules can be used to your advantage or traded at monoliths using your inventory. Find another monolith, reactivate it, and await further instructions. So yeah, we're just going around and trying to find all the different monoliths around. And you can scan holding Y. I am playing with a controller, by the way. So now it'll mark like basic modules that you can pick up. Basic module. There's a ladder right over there. And so the, my ladder that I just placed is yellow. But yeah, you see this ring that's around this monolith? 
this is the area where I'm okay. I'm safe. As soon as I leave this, my energy will start draining because I'm using my suit energy now. So let's pick up the basic monolith or basic module. Excuse me, module. Another one over here. And you'll notice my weight is going up. I'm at 20 kilograms out of my 100 that I can carry. You can only carry so much weight before, you know, you're over encumbered. So let's get over here back to the monoliths. Now, the cool thing about it is it powers you up, but you can also sell these modules that you pick up. So let me show you. We have a unit. We have a uh, unit menu. So now we have our two basic modules on us. We can trade it and basically it'll give us 250 bucks, $250, whatever you want to say. We, now we have 500. So then we can fabricate. We can make a ladder. We can make a, a rifle because there are enemies here. We have an energy module. That way, when you're out and about running around, you can refill your energy, but it costs a thousand to do that. So we're going to wait on that. There is a, a ladder module over here. So we might make one of those. Let's make one of those. So now we're carrying a ladder and you can only do this when you're next to a monolith. Like if I try to go outside of it and now I go to the menu, if I go to fabricate, it says only available at activated monoliths. So I have to be near my monolith in order to sell anything, in order to make anything, all that kind of stuff. So now that we have a ladder, we can kind of go around and look around, see what's going on here. And you'll see there's monoliths out there. There's 10 of them total. There's another ladder module down there. There's another basic one down there as well. Basic module that we can trade. Yeah, look at down here. I'm not seeing anything, but there's a monolith way over there. So we're gonna have to put a ladder down. Let me put this ladder down. We can mark it. So you pull it out and you can extend it to wherever you can, but you know, you have to, you know, set it up. It has to be in a good spot. There it is. And boom. Let me refill because I'm already at 75%. You use 25%. Your energy drains really quickly. They don't want you to be out in about too long. Let me refill there. Where's my ladder go? There it is. And you take a lot of fall damage. So you do not want to just jump off and land down on the ground. The ladder is not because, you know, you need to get to something high. It's because you take a lot of fall damage. You will die if you jump off that cliff and try to land on the ground. Even if you fall like, you know, a couple of feet, you will take damage. Pick up that module. There should be a ladder one over here. Oh, there's a ladder over there. I wasted a ladder. And as far as I could tell, you cannot pick up your ladder. Once you've placed it, it's done. It's there permanently. Let me see. Yeah, so you can't really do anything with it other than climb it. But there is another module, another uh, monolith over here. So let's get over here. We're at 54%. We got to go, got to go. And you can run, but you're not really going that fast. You are, but you're not really. Oh, we have another basic module right there. And you can scan, but scanning also drains your energy. So let me show you this. So you can scan. It'll show you stuff around you. But we need the energy. Now we're at 30%. Activated that one. There you go. Master Vortex Industries is encouraged by your continuing progress. When engaged with a monolith, use your unit menu to trade the modules you pick up, then fabricate new modules or purchase upgrades with the earned credits. There you go. See, so now it's kind of going through the basics of, hey, this is how you do stuff. I saw a rifle around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. The rifle module. Let me grab that. And again, the, everything, you know, takes up room on your suit. So even though I have the rifle, even if you equip it, it's still on that box. So it still weighs and takes up a lot of space on your suit. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want like 15 different rifles because again, your rifle actually drains. So let me show you. So if you have your rifle, you only have so much energy in it. So you have to get to a spot to re-energize it. So if I'm out and about and I use it, Okay, I'm already at 94. I have to re-energize that thing. All right. But we did get some basic modules. So let me let me go here. Let me trade. You can't do anything else with the basic modules other than sell them. So let's trade them out. We're 250, so we're good. And if I wanted to, I could sell my uh I could sell my rifle. I could sell my ladder if I needed, you know, I needed that stuff. I could. Let's get an energy module right here. So we have we have a rifle, we have a ladder. Yep, we have a rifle and a ladder. Let's get an energy module. So let's fabricate it. We have 1,020, 250, so 1,200. 
Now we only have 250, but we do have an extra energy module when we're out and about. We can use it. Now, hopefully I can run into some enemies here. So again, we're looking for these monoliths over there. Well, let's get to that one over there. And I have a rifle. Up, oh, yep, I'm gonna have to use a ladder to get up there. It's really, really cool. It's really, really interesting, but there are enemies that will slow you down. You'll run into random enemies in the uh, in the area. So let me get my ladder real quick. And right there. That looks like a good spot, right? So let's get up here. And again, it takes forever to climb. It's a weird camera angle, but it, it tries to make your character, you know, even, which is kind of okay. Again, this game is in early access. It's totally free, and they're going to be adding content to this. So you guys, this is an amazing... Oh, there's an enemy right there. Oh, God. Oh, got it. Okay. This guy's right here. So we... We have a... We have an enemy. Thank you, but I'm about to get killed by this enemy. All right, got him. Woof. Got him. And he dropped off an energy module. Love it. Okay. You have a shield as well, but your shield takes up your energy, so you don't want to do that. Yeah, see, it takes up 1% energy every second. So it'll double. Like, look at this. My energy is just going to drain really, really quick if I have a shield out. So you got to be careful of that. We can also pull out a map. And look at this. Look at this huge map. That's gigantic. And so all the ones that have a check mark are the ones we've done. We're looking for the other ones we haven't done yet. So, oh, there's one right next to where I was. Okay. But yeah, so those are enemies and they will randomly be patrolling all over the place. From what I can tell. I haven't played too deep into this game. From what I can tell. All right. So we can also recharge. So we have two energy packs. Come on. No, I can't use it to recharge my gun. All right. Well, we're redoing my suit. All right. Let's pick up the valuable. Oh, wait a minute. Let me sell some of this. Let me make sure I can sell some of this. So let's get back get close to the uh, monolith. Energy module. So we have two and we have our rifle. But we have a valuable module worth 2,000. Let's get rid of that. So now we have 2,250. I'm liking it. And we have two energy modules. And again... It's, it's filled up with a thousand energy, but it's going to take some to recharge your suit. So you can't, you know, you can't just use it all the time. Is that an enemy over there? Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Let's do a scan. Let's see what's around us. Oh, there's a basic module out here. Let's go get this guy. And it keeps it marked for a little while, but not permanently. So eventually those uh, markers will fade and you have to scan again. Oh, there's one over here. And you're basically just collecting stuff just like in Death Stranding. You're picking up packages. You have a limitation on how much you can carry at one time, but you get paid for however many you turn in. And you can actually get packages and turn them into each monolith. So let me show you how to do that. So let me let me sell these basic modules to get room on my, in, my inventory. Then you have a delivery page. So, there are uh, deliveries that you can pick up and deliver right here. So, we have one here for a uh, delivery uh, B1. It's 87 meters away. So, Monolith H22. So, we can pick that up. And so, now we have that in our inventory. We have it here. We can mark it with our menu. So, mark that. And so, now we know we have to go to this Monolith and turn it in. So let's go turn this baby in. Let me scan because we can pick up our packages along the way. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Nothing around here. So let's get in here. Come on. Climb that ladder. There you go. And again, you don't want to... You take fall damage and fall damage is extreme in this game. So you don't want... If you fall more than like three feet, you're dead almost. So you don't want to do that. And then again, if I fall and take some damage... It takes away my energy, which is my life bar down there in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. What was that? Energy used? What was that? I don't even know what that was. I just got attacked? 
All right, well, we can use some of our energy to recharge it. Okay. We have two of them, so we should be okay. Let me see what's over around here. Anything? Nothing? All right, nothing. So we could go over here and let's turn it in. We have to get to the monolith before we can turn it in. Then we go down and it's right here. Deliver for 2,000. So we just got 2,000 credits for delivering that one. So we actually we should, we should actually give ourselves a ladder. So now we have a ladder. We still have our gun. So let's go, I think in that direction. Yeah, there's no other packages around here. I think like this, this blue one right here, we've already activated, but we have not activated this one farther down. These are the ones that are right next to each other. So let's go see what's going on with this. Oh yeah, it's farther down. Oh no, we've already done that one too. That's okay. We'll see if we can get, I wish I can get rid of this ladder and pick it back up, but that's okay. Let's scan again. Anything? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of packages over here. Let's pick them up. Got it. Oh, there's a rifle module over there. Perfect. See, there's just random upgrades all over the place. Oh, we can, oh no, that's what it was. There's some electrical storm happening here. Okay. Got a recharge. Good lord. Oh, this is from somebody else. So someone else died doing this. Oh, he's a... What the heck? He's a knight? <laughs> what is going on? Why is there a knight on the moon? That's weird. Okay. That's really weird. I think I've already activated this one. Yeah, it's too low. Usually the monoliths will be super tall if you have not activated them. We've already marked this one, so we're good. So let's sell some stuff while we're here. Our basic modules. Uh, we could sell one of our guns as well. So let's sell the one that's really low. That way we have our full module. Boom, boom, boom. Let's make another energy module. We have the credits. You don't want to carry, again, you don't want to carry too much because then you'll be overburdened anyway. But, I mean, I'll, I'll take an extra layer. All right. There's one right here. Uh, basic module. How did I miss this one? I thought I already grabbed this one earlier. But I guess I didn't. All right, let's go to our map. All right, so we've marked that. There's nothing out here. It doesn't see, it doesn't show anything, but there might be packages like that over there. I didn't even see this. Energy module. Dude, I bought one and I didn't even need to. Oh, there's an enemy. You see him out there? He's red. Let's get this guy. Oh, wait. Pull out my gun. There we go. Look at this guy. And I mean, again, for, it's in uh, early access, so it is not like a first-person shooter or anything like that. It's not a... It's not... doesn't feel really good. It's very, very awkward. But, oh my god, I got killed! No! So when you die, you drop all of your stuff right where you died. Thanks you for your service. Thank you for your service. You drop everything where you died and you respawn at the last monolith you touched. Because I touched this one last, this is where I respawn. Now watch this. Look at that damage. I took 4% damage just from falling what? what? Was that five feet, six feet? Good Lord. But yeah, we don't have any of our stuff, but all of it's over there. Does it mark it on the map? It does not. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It marks it on your map for you right there. So I know my modules are over there. So let's go get it. We know there's an enemy over there, so we need to get over there. We have to pick it up because we have to pick up our gun. We dropped everything, so I have to pick up my gun before I can shoot the guy. Oh, God. Hopefully I can get it before he come notices me. I wish there was, like, a stealth mechanic to where you can, like, crouch and hide. Oh, my God. There's another enemy. Oh, God. Oh my god, it's 9% damage. All right, we're going to have to buy some uh we're going to have to buy a weapon. So, let's go do that. Let's buy our weapon. That way we can shoot. I didn't think there was going to be another enemy just pop up out of nowhere. All right, so we have 4000 credits. So, I have to buy another gun. Let's do it. All right. So, now we have it. Boom. There we go. Let's take this guy out now. That way we can get our stuff back. Dang it. Where is this guy at? 
Where you at, buddy? Yeah, look at there's two of them now. It's two of them just patrolling all over the place. That's crazy. Did a little bit of damage. God, that's so sensitive. Alright, got him. Got him. 28 remaining? I just picked that up. I just realized there's 28 remaining enemies. Oh my god. Oh, what the crap? Not carrying an energy module. Give me an energy module, please. Oh no! I just dropped it all over here. God. I'm gonna have a big pile of stuff over there. Oh my god. Jeez. I'm gonna have a big pile of of stuff over there. Oh my god. All right. Let's try this again. I can't believe I got murdered by that thing. All right. Well, we're going to try this. All right. That thing should be almost dead, right? Oh my god. Really? I caught on the rocks. All right. That thing should be basically dead. I mean, seriously. There is I've, I've shot it like 5 times. You gotta be basically dead. What's your life bar at? I see that red light. I have like three guns stacked up over here. Look at that. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I don't even think I have enough room. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I'm full. I'm full. Oh my God. Let me fill up. Oh yeah, I'm over encumbered. I'm I use I have a hundred percent full. I can't. Oh my god. All right. Well, I need to drop something. Let's drop the. Uh, let's drop this one. All right. Now I have just barely. Oh my god. I have barely enough. Oh my. God, look at this. I barely have enough to move. Good lord. Okay, we gotta go back out there. We're gonna have to pick up some stuff after we sell some stuff. Over encumbered. I'm, and I'm running, but I'm not really running. Look at him. My knees are bent. I am literally crouchy trying to hold this weight. Oh my god. I love the. It's such a good looking game. It's not very deep. It's just, you know, in general, but I love it. It's so much fun. It's so cool. All right. Oh, let's see what we can sell here. Basic, yes. Basic, yes. Basic, yes. So we have one ladder. We have a uh, three energy modules. Good lord, two guns. So let's sell this. All right, we should be okay now. Yeah, yeah. See, now I'm running kind of okay. I do like the fact that the more weight you're carrying, the lower your um your character is because you know like the weight is actually on them. That's really really cool. I like that. Oh, let's see if I can grab. Is there any other enemies over here? I bet you there are. I want to try to pick up everything I can. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of energy modules now. And then there's another rifle module. <laughs> yeah, this is where all the rifle stuff is, I guess. Up, oh, basic. Up, oh, basic up there. So, yeah, the basics give you 250. The advanced ones give you... 2,000. All right. Oh, yep. My my energy is getting low. Or my weight is getting too high. One of the two. Pick whichever one, you know, you think. Yeah. Holy crap. So, yeah. This is the Moon Runner. I'm loving this game. It's really, really fun. Simple. Oh, God. Simple concept. But it's really, really just the gameplay loop is there. It's in early access, you guys. So this game is still going to be... They're going to add more content. They're going to be adding things to it. Oh, man. But this game is so cool. And it keeps your progress. So you can't really... You know, you can't really uh, start a new game or something like that. You can basically just reset all of your progress. Again, early access. And so they're just kind of... It's, uh, it almost feels like just a one save slot. So you can't save scum. You can't, like trick it or try to you know use your save file to to get something else it is just built in you have one single save and if you want to you can just reset it and start all the way over from the beginning let me show you that in the menu so
So if you go in here, you can say restart right here. Or I can continue from exactly where I was left off. It just respawns you at the last um, monolith you were at. Oh my God, look at this menu. The menu is actually in game because that's my ladder I put down there. That's pretty awesome. I love that. That is so cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did hit that like button, it looks interesting. Definitely, you know, go check it out. I'll link the game down below in the description and the pinned comment. That way you guys can go find the game, go play the game if you're on Steam. It is really, really cool, and it's absolutely free. So I will see you guys next time.